Uh, so, hey, man, I haven't seen you in a long time. Well, I saw you recently at uh, the uh, L.A. Function, which mm-hmm. you guys performed at. Yeah. But uh, for people who don't know, you were shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, what happened, man? I mean, obviously, you're good. Thank God. But yeah, I was just basically just cased. Like, somebody, they just followed me and just tried to rob me, shot me six Damn. times. Six times is a serious Ran amount of the house like a home invasion. So they went into your crib? Mm-hmm. That's gotta be terrible, man. Yeah, that shit was that shit was weak as fuck. I mean, but shit, it's just a learning lesson. You feel me? Luckily, it didn't cost me my life. But yeah, I got shot six times. Like two in his arm, one in his own arm, my rib, my butt, and my right leg. And they were following you for. Do you know how long they were following you? No, nah, I don't even know. It's so crazy. Like until someone like until something crazy because that's happened to me where someone's followed me and like jacked me. Now I'm like super on top of like. Thinking of shit I would never think of. Yeah. It makes you sharper, though. Yeah, you know it makes I mean? you sharper, for it sure. It gives you a little PTSD, but but it's like, at the same time, make you sharper. You know, it's, it's the type of way you should be moving if you have some type of name, you're popular, you have something, some, some, if you carry some things of value, you should be watching every, you know what I'm saying? You should keep your head on the swivel. You should be making sure nobody's following you. You should be, you know, um, uh, very aware, you know what I'm saying? Because... When you're not, you have your guard down, so anything can happen at that point. You know, if you, if you're wearing jewelry, if you're somebody, because we always got to remember what's small to us is might be big to the next person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't even give, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can get that shit back tomorrow, but with somebody, they looking at you like, oh my god, like all I need is that, all I need is that chain, all I need is that bag, that sack of weed, or mm-hmm. whatever. You know what I mean? Or whatever the fuck they think they gonna get, and they're willing to throw away their life for that shit. You know. Did they catch the guy? Nah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Did uh, like, like who was there to like? Was, was somebody at your house to help you? Well, Oops like, was. So uh-huh. when I got shot, they ran through the house. I got shot on the porch, and they ran through the house, and um, they they didn't really get nothing. So when they when they um left the house, uh, they left and ran out because it was it was real quick. Whatever, like that, they couldn't find nothing, so they left. And um, I got up off the porch. I had to go back in the house. Shot up. <laughs> Kicked down the door because Oops was like laid in on the floor in the closet where they laid him down at, whatever like that. They told him, like, count to 100, you know, don't get up, whatever like that. So um, I get back up. I'm stumbling in the house. I had to kick the door open in his room. And I'm like, but I'm shot. Call 911. I'm, I'm, I'm hit. Then I try to try to turn around, and stabilize myself, and then like when you feel like you when you dying, you you get tired. When you lose, I lost a lot of blood, so I got shot in my artery in my right arm. So Fuck. when you when you when you when you dying, when you feel like you dying, you get tired. I couldn't even. I was like trying to walk back. I couldn't even walk. I just sat down on the couch. It was like shit. Like I was just more mad. But I, I think what kept me alive was me just being calm because I lost a lot of blood and I got shot in my artery. So. I was just mad at anything, and I was just just holding myself up, and that's when I realized I got shot. I only thought I got shot in my hands, but when I realized, when I finally sat down and the adrenaline went down, I felt all the wounds on my ass, my leg. I pulled on my pants. I see meat hanging on my leg. I'm Damn. bleeding from this part. I'm looking at this. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what the? Ah, oh, hell no! Nah. These niggas shot me six times. I'm like, fuck, because when you get shot, you don't really feel it. You don't feel you get shot you, immediately when it happens. Because you know? you're adrenaline, yeah. Right. So That's scary, dude. I call, oops, he called the police. Boop, boop, boop. They came so quick. I feel like right when I was going to pass out, the ambulance came right on time and everything. And that shit usually don't happen. But I am glad that I got shot where I got shot at because Highland has a trauma center, right which there. is probably five minutes from where I'm at. So the best place to get, if I got a shot in Richmond or where I'm from or something, I probably would have died. But Thank God, man. Luckily, man. The, you know, the Highland was right there. I got took to the hospital wound, did the surgery wound. I woke up, I'm like, damn, I made it. Shit. <laughs> man, that had to be scary. You, you probably didn't know when, but by the time the, when the ambulance got there, you probably weren't even sure. I just know that I was still alive after I got shot. Yeah. I was like, I still got a chance to live. Right. Like, you know, I'm like, I'm like, hold on. Like, I'm still alive. I ain't dead. Hold on. I got, I got a chance. You feel me? So oh, shit, man. I just Holy kept Jesus. fighting. You feel me? And then shit, made it. Can't really tell, you know what I'm saying? Unless you, you know, see my wounds. But it is a learning lesson. Like it's just really a learning lesson. You can't be moving out of here freely, thinking that anything can't happen to you. You know what I mean? It will, and it can. So you gotta, you gotta move smart. Gotta move strategically. And, and how long do you think it took you, like mentally, heal from that? Cause that should have had me fucked up. I'd have been like, man, fuck this. I'm moving. Nah, shit. To be honest with you, I ain't. I'd have put a fuck it. I'd have put a bag on whoever's head that was. <laughs> to, to be honest, with you, I didn't give a shit. Like I feel like it was my own mistake. Like, right. You feel me? Nah. Like, sometimes yeah. you gotta. 
you got to write it off to that point. You got to be on point. You know, it's yeah. part of the, it's part of this, it's part of the world. It's part of life. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. part of, um, you know, being involved, being accessible. Right. You know what I mean? I got to move smarter. I got to, you know, I got to take the long way. I got to watch my back. I got to, you know. It's, and you're still living in the Bay, right? Yeah, I still live yeah. in the Bay. Why haven't you followed huh? him to LA? Because I just got too much motion in the bay. Like it just, I mean, you know, what I'm saying like if you go, and I was like, you know how they always say like the you're bear- like Sean Costin. <laughs> That's my boy too. Now I know he is. Happy but, birthday to that piece of shit. Happy birthday, you piece of shit. <laughs> but it, it just like it's just like you know how that the fool bay- will never move, move. I'm like, bro, move to L. A. You love just being the guy in the bay, though, John, don't you? You fuck. It's hard to leave that. You know what I'm saying? It's oh, I, hard get to it, that, I get it. You know I mean? get it. I get it. And this, it's, it's, I guess, emotion out of LA. I'm about to go to LA. The studio here. But I got studio at home. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, yeah, then I got my kids too. Oh, that's fair. And then, uh, yeah, then you don't want to like move too much stuff. I'm involved. How many with children at home. do you have? I got three. I got three girls. Yeah, you don't want to leave three kids. Girl dad. Girl dad. Yeah, that's fair. Curse. Kobe curse. <laughs> the players curse. <laughs> the players curse for sure. 